In today's How the Heck Am I Gonna Get Out of This One story, we meet Jack, a farmer whose tractor sounds more like a bag of angry cats than a well-oiled machine. Now, Jack's a good man, the salt of the earth type, but his mechanical skills are about as useful as a chocolate teapot in a dust storm. So, here's Jack, stranded in the middle of nowhere, with a broken tractor and a cell phone that only gets reception when there's a full moon and Jupiter aligns with Saturn. Will Jack use his ingenuity and farming know-how to fix the beast? Or will he be forced to resort to slightly less conventional methods, like offering Betsy the cow a very tempting trade involving alfalfa and a slightly used jalopy? Buckle up because this hilarious tale is about to get moving. Agriculture, the backbone of civilization. You know, the reason you don't have to hunt mammoths for dinner anymore. It all started simple. A stick, a seed, a whole lot of hope and backaches. Fast forward a few millennia, and we've got tractors that steer themselves, genetically modified crops that practically grow themselves, and enough automation to make R2-D2 look like a wind-up toy. But let's not get ahead of our mechanical chickens just yet. There was a time, not too long ago, well, maybe a couple generations, where farming was a symphony of sweat, ingenuity, and sheer cussed determination. Our farmers weren't just growing food, they were wrangling nature itself. Picture this, sun beating down on your neck, dust devils dancing across the horizon, and the only air conditioner you've got is the occasional rogue gust of wind. These folks knew every inch of their land, the whispers of the soil, the language of the clouds. They could coax a watermelon out of a desert with a rusty spoon and a kind word. Now, these farmers weren't exactly social butterflies, their days were filled with the rhythmic clatter of farm equipment, the mooing of contented cows, well, maybe not that contented, and the squawking symphony of a particularly irate rooster who lost a fight to a particularly fluffy pancake. Town? Town was a mythical place whispered about on long winter nights, a land paved with something other than dirt, a place where things were bought not bartered for with a jar of your grandma's secret pickles. So, when our farmer Jack, a man whose handshake could snap a cow femur and whose beard could house a family of field mice, announced he was heading into town, it was cause for a county-wide celebration. Now Jack's trips to town were legendary, not for their frequency, mind you, but for the sheer, chaotic, side-splitting absurdity that invariably followed. This Tuesday, however, promised a whole new level of mayhem. See, Jack's pickup were his main concern and needed some mechanical tender love and care. Mike, the town mechanic, was needed to put things straight again. Thus, with a determined glint in his eye, a slightly moth-eaten straw hat perched on his head and a shopping list scribbled on a feed sack, because apparently paper was a luxury reserved for city folk, Jack set off for the uncharted territory of town. What comedic gold awaited in town, at Mike's shop or in the aisles of the hardware store? But let's just say, buckle up, because Jack's shopping spree is about to get utterly ridiculous. Now, Farmer Jack set off to town to have his first stop at trusty Mike's mechanical works. Getting his truck a new lease of life was the prime objective. Some purchases afterwards, and Jack will be heading back to the glory of hammering it out in the heated sun. After an hour or two awaiting the diagnosis of Jack's truck, Mike came with some bad news. The repair is going to take a couple of days, but she will be as good as, well, she was the last 10 years or so. Mike suggests giving our farmer Jack a lift back to the farm so that repairs can commence. But Jack, being the farmer he is, will take a stroll home through the Veld after a short shopping spree. While in town, Jack bought two prized chickens, a goose to get egg production skyrocketing again, a bucket and a tin of paint. Now Jack can set off homewards, but he had a problem carrying everything that he bought to his farm. As he was figuring it out, an old lady came over to ask for directions as she was a bit lost. Jack had a look at the address she showed him, and won't you know, it was close to his farm, so, Jack explained to the lady that she will have to walk with him. However, he asked if she could help him carry the chicken, 
as he was out of hands for his purchases. The old lady gave everything a look and then said, Put the paint in the bucket, the bucket in one hand, a chicken under each arm, and the goose in your other hand. Jack gave it a go, and as you know, it worked. So off they went. On their way, Jack noticed an ally that would cut the distance in half and said, I'd let's take a shortcut, I know the route. The old lady said, And I'm an old lady, without protection. Do you think I will take a chance of going alone through an alley with you? What if you try to have your way with me? Lady, I am carrying a bucket, tin of paint, two chickens and a goose. How on dear earth will I be able to do that? The woman said, You put the goose down, put the bucket over him, put the can of paint on top of the bucket, so the goose can't escape. And then, my dear, I will hold the two chickens for you. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.